Almost one year has passed since I set out on a goal to race every round of the AMRA 2017 Moto City Off-Road Championship Series. I was an inexperienced rider, out of shape, and unsure of myself. But with a little determination and a positive attitude, I found myself here, in Globe, Arizona, for the ninth and final round of the series. But it was not my attitude and determination alone that got me here. I want to thank all the Rockstar sponsors who supported me on Patreon. You guys gave me more than just your hard-earned money. You also helped me believe in myself. I also want to thank my friends who helped me find courage, donated their time and equipment to helping me along the way. And to my wife, who never discourages my craziness, who takes care of our home, takes care of me, and supported my adventure while she held down the fort. And finally, thanks to all of you who watch these videos. This final race was put on by the ironically named Rockstars Motorcycle Club. I owe them a thank you too for putting this on, along with all the other clubs who worked so hard to give us these races. But these Rockstar guys, well, I'm pretty sure they were trying to kill us. Okay, I'm gonna say it. This course had me a little more than nervous. I've not yet had the opportunity to learn how to ride on these types of man-made obstacles before. And I'm not a big fan of learning a new skill while I'm in a race. It's like showing up to play guitar at a concert when you can barely manage a kazoo. After taking a closer look at the obstacles, I felt like I might be able to handle them pretty easily. I even planned to try and double into the tire matrix. Well, that all went out the window when I saw a B rider land on his head in the tires with the bike on top of him. He finished his season in an ambulance. Not me. Call me a chicken if you want, but I was gonna finish this season on two wheels. Fortunately, Globe has a pretty cool off-road park only 10 minutes from the race venue. Since we aren't allowed to pre-run the race course or warm up in any way at the race venue, I arrived early the day before the race to revisit this place that was featured briefly in the rafting and riding video I put out last year. It's just a small confidence boost to get a little riding in. I know it's not the same as pre-running the course, but it beats jumping right into a race after a week of not riding at all. Race day came, and before I knew it, it was time to line up for the start. The format for this race was a sprint enduro. We would ride two four mile test sections and then get back to the start line and do it again two more times. It started with a grass track, dotted with a few man-made obstacles, and then out into the single course track that would make up the rest of the two test sections. I stress an awful lot about the prospect of breaking my neck on the obstacles. What I really took away from this first part of the race was how desperately I need to get better at turning the bike. I still have way too much trouble turning and it was costing me time.
Fortunately, the obstacles proved to be a non-issue. I made good time and managed to make it through the first loop without crashing. one big letdown the whole race. I didn't even remember it happening. I mistakenly announced that I had raced with no crashes. Plenty of close calls. And somehow, I just kept getting lucky. But eventually, my luck would run out in the second loop. It wasn't much of a crash, but I think it counts. But even with that minor hiccup, I really felt good about this race. I had a game plan, and I was sticking to it. Right at 80% of what I'm capable of, and remember to breathe. Avoid crashing at all costs. I got squirrely on that too.
So I'm reminding myself, write 80% of your capability. Don't forget to breathe and don't crash. That's the game plan. At the time, I felt like it was working. But as I reviewed this footage, I can clearly see that I'm too slow. There's no intensity. And riding on a flat front tire for the last four miles did not help at all. On top of that, I'd been slacking off on my diet and my exercise. I regained about 15 pounds and it affected me. I lost some of the endurance I had worked so hard to develop and I got tired early and my time took a big hit. So my tire is completely flat now. And I'm struggling hard to steer. For my efforts, I managed to lock down 10th place. Another disappointing finish. However, there's still a major positive result here. I finished without suffering injuries. No damage to the bike. I didn't lose a lot of time to crash recovery. And the best part of it all, I had a great time. I walk away from this season armed with some great knowledge and experience. As I rode through the last scoring gate of the 2017 season, I was both elated and sad at the same time. The end that seemed so far away in September was finally here. No more busy practice schedules. No more packing up and driving all over Arizona, which by the way, after nine rounds, I put in about 4,500 miles to get to these races. There'd be no more scraping to manage the cost of gas, food, race fees, and repairs. It was over. This is the end. Or is it? I haven't decided whether I'm going to race again next season. I will say this though. I'm going to take whatever I learned this year and I'm going to apply it to my riding over the summer. I'm going to train as if I'm going to race again. And we'll see where I am come September. For now, I'll put it to you guys. What do you think? Should I do it? I want to thank all the Rockstar sponsors again family, friends, everybody that helped me. And for you guys watching, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. The Joe Rockstar channel is not over. The race season is. And I'll see you guys next time.